Where are we? We're in Cardiff. Hello everybody and welcome to Cardiff, Wales. Yeah. We are officially in Wales, which is our 46th country together, yeah. which is absolutely crazy. We're super excited to be here. We had to fly in actually to Bristol to make it here. So we flew into Bristol and then we had to get a National Express bus, which was about two hours? Uh, one and a half. One and a half hours, yeah. So we not got, too bad. Yeah, not too bad. But it was... Um, ridiculously foggy we couldn't really see pretty much anything on the journey it was yeah it was insane like it looked like something out of John Carpenter's The Fog or or The Mist the horror films it was like literally nothing except for <laughs> fog so the weather is not that good it's freezing cold especially for us we don't even have clothes for the winter so we're gonna be a bit screwed but we're still gonna walk around and we're gonna eat some food and just see what Cardiff the capital of Wales has to offer all right, let's go explore. Let's go. See if it's really salty. So I think you're supposed to put it on bread, buttered bread. So let's give it a try. It smells like seaweed. So. I feel like if you like seaweed, then there's no reason why you wouldn't like this. It's delicious. Would you eat this on a regular? Yeah, why not? I mean, apparently you can buy it in these little jars and stuff. So yeah, it, it tastes like nori. It tastes like the kind of Japanese seaweed that we would use in sushi. It's apparently it's quite healthy. Well, I mean, see what's meant to be. Yeah. So I think it's awesome. So now I'm going to try some black pudding, which personally I love. 
I would assume most people know that it's made with blood, but you don't taste the blood most of the time. Let's see if it's irony. It's a big piece. Mm. It has no irony, blood kind of taste, no gaminess to it. It's just a really good sausage. I don't know. It doesn't taste like blood sausage? I don't think that blood sausage tastes like blood. Because I mean, it's mixed with all these herbs and grains. So it's really good. I'm gonna try one of these little sausages. They look like treats. No, they're just British. They're so soft inside. It's like a pig. Yeah, that's what it's like. Good. <laughs> Because of all this one, see if it's spicy because maybe it will be. Mm -hmm. 
I'm mm. astonished that there wasn't a throw. Yeah, it's a little bit spicy. No, too spicy for you. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, make that face. I think it's still only a little bit, but for you, maybe a lot. But it's a, so delicious. It's so crispy. It's like amazing. So we're having the three different dips. Two little dumplings. Oh, okay. Looks delicious. Thank you. And now our lamb korma has also arrived. So excited. This is lamb too, I think. Very good. Bit spicy. It's so good for me. Let's try um try dumpling. Seems to have chicken inside, so chicken That didn't work. Actually kinda of spicy, just hit the back. <laughs> <laughs> This chicken sounds really good. Indian people eat these kind of dumplings. They're really good. I didn't expect them. But this is all delicious. Though. Now I'm going to try the chicken curry. And it looks like there's a potato curry as well. Let's start with the chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. So the chicken's really soft. It's not dry. It's a little bit spicy, but it's not too spicy. It's definitely a level of spice where it's comfortable, but there's a lot of flavor. There's also this potato one. It looks like little fried potatoes with chewing of spice. So when you say cool. it's a lot of flavor and a lot of spice on those potatoes. I was saying, out of everything so far, that's probably the spiciest thing. Like both aromatic spice and hot spice for you. <laughs> But it's still really delicious. Since we're here, mm -hmm. it's warm. The is really hot, like fresh out of the oven, stoked up. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they make it, but it's very hot, very fresh. So we have lamb korma. So we have lamb korma fritters all the time. That's Ani's go-to at any Indian restaurant. So let's see how it compares. Oh, it's so hot. I burned my tongue. Did you even get a piece of meat? No, but the sauce is so good, it's so flavorful, so creamy. Then we do have to try some of this. I don't know if I even can, it's so hot. It's very tender, it just falls apart when I touch it with my voice. Mm. Oh my god. It's so flavorful. Honestly, it's probably one of the best lamb formas I've ever had. I think you'll think so too. The meat is very tender. There's a ton of flavor in the curry. It's excellent. Very, very good. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more of Cardiff, make sure to check out our Cardiff Christmas Market video, where we compare the markets with both Bristol and our next stop, Exeter.